Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Brittany and today I'm going to be sharing another haul from Sheen. This haul is pretty much a random haul of items that I found that I wanted to get for the upcoming seasons. We have fall, Halloween, Christmas, and um, some birthday gifts. Sometimes my kids will watch my channel, but I'm gonna tell them not to watch this video because there are some birthday gifts. Um, my oldest daughter is going to be turning 17 in October. I cannot believe it. And then my twins, Liam and Mia, they're gonna be 15 in November. So uh, I can't recall if I got them gifts, but I know for sure I got Emma some gifts. So this haul is gonna be a little bit smaller than my last one because I did a bigger haul and a try on in my last video, but I still wanted to share this haul with you. I hope that you enjoy today's video. Before we get started, please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. Join my growing YouTube family. It is absolutely free. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that big thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with this hoodie, I got this for Emma. She loves cows, like her whole room is Western cow theme. And so I got this really cute, it's like a burnt orange, so perfect for the fall. Cute little cow, and then it has some hearts. The quality is pretty good, it is thin, it's not a thicker hoodie. It doesn't have like the strings like some hoodies have, and it doesn't have any pockets. Um, but I will be leaving the prices on the screen just so you can reference how much each piece is. I fell in love with this sweatshirt, long sleeve shirt. I just had to get it. It is totally my style. And you could wear this for spooky season or you can just wear it year round like I probably will because, well, not year round because it's way too hot here, but um, at least for the fall and winter seasons two skeletons dancing how cute is that and i like how it's two different colors too really cute and i got this in a size large i am typically a large in tops um about a 10 in bottoms um leggings i'm a medium to a large just depends you guys know sizes aren't uh, the same across brands. It's very hard for me to shop online. So this next sweatshirt I really do love, except I guess I didn't pay too much attention to the front. I thought that there would be something on the front, but there's not. It's just a plain sweatshirt. It is a gray color, and the back is Arizona. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. You guys probably know I live in Arizona. If you didn't know, I'm a native to Arizona. I've lived here my whole life. And so this says Wild Vacation Wonderlust Adventure, but I think it's missing the V, Adventure Explorer, but that's okay. It still is really cute, really comfy. This one is also a large, but this one is a bit oversized versus the skeleton one. This shirt is also oversized and it's like a cropped shirt, but it's like over off the shoulder type shirt. And I love it so much. Again, this is, I love skulls. Skulls, mushrooms, crystals, all of that. That is totally my vibe. So I think it's meant to kind of be off the shoulder, loose fitting, and it is cropped. And this shirt is buttery soft. This is really good material. This is uh, a part of the Romwe that you can find on Sheen. Um, and this was on like clearance. It was super cheap. I want to say it was around, it was under $4. I'm trying to find the size. I got it in an extra large, which is a US 12. So I could have gotten a large, but I think it's meant to be kind of oversized. So I went up a size. And this next shirt, oh my, this is my favorite shirt of all time. As soon as I saw it, I sent it to my cousin and I was like, you have to get this shirt. And so she has the matching shirt. We are twinsies now. And it's like 
a dead person in a grave, but comes comes out of the grave to say, can I pet that dog? And you guys know that um, reel or TikTok, that little girl saying, can I pet that dog? But it's a bear. Oh, but my cousin and I both absolutely, we love animals, especially dogs. I have four dogs myself. And um, so this is just us. Whenever we're dead, we're still gonna come back and say, can I pet that dog? It is so cute. And, okay, there's no tag right there. The size is a large, which is US eight to 10. And the bottom here, like all of the other sweatshirts that I showed have like a cuff at the bottom, which I don't usually prefer. And then this one is doesn't. So this one is just like an opened cut bottom so I think this one might fit a little bit better than the other ones but I am going to be keeping all of them I think this might be my first sheen order where I don't have to return anything there is one thing in here that I probably would return but it's not worth it I don't think um, just to return the one cheap item so I'll probably just keep it and use it as a gift bag but we'll get to that in a minute this next item I actually already wore because my family and I, we went to see Beetlejuice Beetlejuice and I got these socks, not just for the movie, but because I'm a huge Beetlejuice fan. If you guys have been around, you guys have probably seen my shirts and I did a um, Beetlejuice Halloween movie night inspired menu. I will have that video linked in the description box down below if you want to check it out. Um, so I got this pair of socks that are Beetlejuice they're two different purples like this one is like a bright purple and then this is a darker purple <laughs> so I don't know if it's meant to be like that or what but it wasn't super noticeable and the Beetlejuice sign itself isn't super noticeable and then you know it stretches but I I want to say these were like two dollars so definitely worth the price I will be wearing them throughout the Halloween season um, but I did wear them to the movies as well these next pair of socks I got them for Ronan and I was like I'll just wait to give it to him until Christmas but I'm gonna end up giving giving them to him before for the Halloween season he is a huge fan of it he loves Pennywise the clown and he has loved clowns since he was little um, I believe he was three years old. So his third Halloween, he dressed up as a killer clown. He just loves it. So I found this pack and it has two versions of the Pennywise, the clown. So we have the newer version and these socks like way better than the Beetlejuice ones. These are made, the detail on there, if you guys can see, amazing especially for the price again I don't know how much they are off the top of my head it'll be on the screen but they did really good with these like you can tell exactly who it is I didn't notice his fist okay that's kind of weird but they did really good at making these Pennywise socks and both this versions. is the item that I was considering returning but it's just not worth it Ronan needs a drawstring bag, not only for soccer, but for um, this camp that he's gonna be going to. And I thought this was gonna be big enough to put his soccer ball in and be like an actual bag. It's not, I don't know what kind of material this is. Kind of plasticky, I mean, it's durable, but it's very small, very small. Like, I don't even know how many inches, but not big enough to hold a soccer ball, not big enough to hold, you know, a lot of things. So, um, it's not worth ret returning, but for his birthday or Christmas maybe coming up, we could just put a gift in there and then close it up and that would be like a little gift bag. So we're just going to hang on to it, um, for that. He's so cute. Got it for the spooky season, just like the Oogie Boogie Nightmare Before Christmas. It's just a plastic one. 
but it is like a thick plastic so a good quality and these little guys look so cute so i'm excited to wear that this next item is better quality than i was expecting it is like pretty heavy it's half of a skull i don't have my glasses out here but it is a glasses holder and a ring holder. So you just put your glasses like right on the nose and then you can put your rings, you know, take your rings off. Put your rings on there. So I got this to put on my nightstand. I know this probably isn't for everybody, but I like it. But you could also, you probably just put this out for spooky decor as well but I am gonna use it as what it's intended for. And this was, um, this was probably the most expensive item I got besides clothes. And I wanna say this was around $7. And I thought, okay, it's probably gonna be some cheap plastic, but it is, it has some weight to it, it is solid. So I am super impressed with the quality. I'm not going to take this out of the package, but I did get this for Emma for her birthday. It is a birthday sash and then a tiara and it says 1717. And actually I think the the sash does say it's my 17th birthday. And it's like a rose gold sparkly so she can have that to wear to school and um, wear to dinner because we are going to be taking her out to dinner. Normally I do birthday parties. I go all out. We have friends and family over at the house. I decorate. But I think for this year, at least um, so far for Emma's birthday, we won't be doing a birthday party, but we're gonna do go out to dinner and um, have cake and just keep it a little bit more low key. Um, just because since she's getting older, we're not gonna do like a huge party, but definitely still going to celebrate her. This is another item that I got for Emma's birthday. I'm going to put it up um, at night after she goes to bed so when she wakes up on her birthday it'll be a banner downstairs and I didn't realize I had to put every single letter together so that's going to be a pain in the butt but it'll be worth it it says dancing queen young and sweet only 17 if you guys know that song um, I'm going to try to get her cake to say that too but I don't know I don't know if that's going to be able to happen but at least we have the banner and another birthday gift for her is this Coraline keychain. So it comes like with a little bracelet. I don't know what that's called. It's not a bracelet, but you can, you know, hang on to your keys. It says Coraline and then it has the Coraline doll. So I got that for her. And Emma loves to read. I've gotten her so many bookmarks, but I saw this one. And I just had to get it. It is another Coraline piece. It's just a very thin metal bookmark. And then it has like a button chain. And I thought that was just too cute to pass up. So we also got her that. This next thing I thought looked really cool. It was super inexpensive. It's a drawing tool. Um, it kind of makes a reflection so you can trace whatever's on your phone or tablet. I think phone though, cause this is pretty small. Um, it reflects it onto the paper so you can trace whatever um, picture is on your phone. And so Mia, it, Mia's my little artist. She loves to draw, she loves to paint, she loves to make stuff out of clay. And so I saw this and um, it's a projective copy pad. So I hope it works. Like I said, it was super inexpensive. I haven't opened it to test it out yet. But if it does work, I will be giving it to her probably for her birthday in November. Mia also loves to wear fake nails. And so I got her a set of fine nail art nails. Um, they're black with white bones. So it looks like little skeleton bones. So she can wear those for Halloween. Um, we have a family tradition where we go to the pumpkin patch. So she can wear those to the pumpkin patch as well. I got two pairs of earrings, um, one for each, one for one pair for each of the girls for spooky season. They can kind of decide who gets what pair, but it is ghost face or scream. 
but they're glittery and sparkly. They are so pretty. So there is one pair. And this is the second pair, but I realized that, that they're not going to be able to wear these to school because these are a weapon. Not allowed to wear those kind of stuff to school. I didn't think about that time I was ordering, but we could definitely wear them to the pumpkin patch, but it's another scream, ghost face, um, on a knife with some blood splatter. So I thought both of these were really cute. Next is a set of Halloween bracelets. It says one says Halloween, one says spooky, one says boo. And I thought this would be perfect. The girls and I can split this. We can each get like two, maybe even three bracelets to split and each of us can get one with words on them. So this was a great little set that we can share all together. And I did get these really cute dangly pumpkin earrings perfect for fall and Thanksgiving and they are so sparkly and they're actually bigger than I was thinking they were going to be. I thought they would be smaller than this. Um, but I think it will look perfect, especially if my hair is curled and down. So I'm glad I ended up getting those and again, really affordable pieces. I'm not going to take these two out of the package because they are air fresheners and I'm not ready to put them in my car just yet. But this is Keep It Fresh Air Freshener. It's a little ghost with a beanie and an iced coffee and a little pumpkin purse. Like, is that not the cutest? So I'm going to have that. Oh, it's not a purse. It's the pumpkin um, Halloween trick-or-treating buckets. Oh my gosh. And then this one I love. And this one is a plant extraction, variety of styles, natural flavor, aroma, tablets natural aroma 100 percent fresh and long lasting but this is frankenstein and i forget her name i don't i don't remember but totally my vibe my style and it says made for you on the air freshener so i will be putting these in my car one at a time very soon i also did not realize that she even sold air fresheners so I'll keep you guys posted, um, probably on Instagram. So if you're not following me, definitely give me a follow over there. But I'll keep you guys posted on how they smell when I finally open them. So um, I'll probably post it in my story. So be on the lookout for that. Next is this really cute ring. It's like a witch's broom with a witch hat. I don't know. Hopefully that's coming across on camera. I just thought it was so cute. And I think it was like a dollar something. So it's not going to last very long. I'm sure it'll tarnish if I get it wet. But for now, I'm just going to wear it and enjoy it for this season. And I got another pair of earrings. Um, but these ones are mushrooms and a moon. And these earrings can be worn like year round, not just for the fall or you know, the fall season, autumn season, you can wear these year round. I think I mentioned that earlier. I love mush mushrooms. I love the aesthetic. I love the look. They just bring me so much happiness. And so I thought these were too cute to pass up. So I did get a pair of mushroom earrings and they're like a wood material. The back is not painted, which is kind of unfortunate, but at least the front is. Another thing I love, and I forgot to mention, are gnomes. I love to decorate with gnomes, and um, I found this roll of stickers. I think it comes with 500 stickers, and they are all different types of gnomes for different seasons, different holidays. Um, I do have a Poshmark closet, and whenever I sell an item, I write a hand personalized note to the buyer, and I always put a sticker on the note. And so I thought this would be perfect to add, like, you know, if it's springtime or wintertime, I'll just add whatever note, gnome to that season on the note. And these were super affordable. And so I definitely had to get them when I saw them. Next is an ornament for the tree. It is a coffee cup or tea cup with a stack of books. 
And Emma is my reader. She loves to read. That is her favorite hobby. So I thought this would be the perfect ornament for her to put on the Christmas tree. We are down to the final items and both of them are earrings. I got some more earrings. This is the vintage Santa Claus earrings. Oh my gosh, so cute. This is like the classic 90s Jolly Santa. And I love them so much, I just had to get those. And they're the same material as the mushroom ones, like the wood material. These last ones are so cute. They are the Little Debbie Treat Christmas trees. I love them so much. So I think it's safe to say that I am pretty much set for um, fun little jewelry for Halloween and for fall and for Christmas. And I'm so excited for the upcoming seasons, the upcoming holidays. We have so, so much fun family stuff planned. So definitely stay tuned because I will be vlogging our family fun adventure. So stay tuned for that. It is already into September as I am filming this video. I'm super behind on sharing fall content, Halloween content. I know in the YouTube world, you have to post it like a few months before for it to go viral or get picked up in the algorithm. I am super behind. Um, I know I probably say this in every video recently, but life has been a little bit crazy. And um, I did not film as much this summer as I was planning to, and that's because I was soaking up time with my family. We had some unexpected things come up that um, needed my attention and my focus and my family and my mental health have to come first. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm hoping to really get back into posting more. After this video, I am going to be sharing a fall Halloween decor haul. I did not get too many new items, but enough that I want to share with all of you, especially if you guys are still shopping for the upcoming season. I will be decorating my home. I will be sharing that video over on my cleaning channel, Tackle It With Brit. So uh, definitely follow me over there as well so you can see how I decorate my home. I'll do a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of decorating. I love to decorate my home, especially this front room here that I'm filming in. This is my favorite room to decorate in my whole house. So definitely stay tuned, hit the notification bell on this channel and tackle it with Brit so you know when I post. Once again, don't forget to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell and leave me some comments. Let me know what was your favorite item that I shared in today's haul. Your guys' support means so much to me, especially the ones that continue to come back each time that I post. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you are all doing well. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care. Bye.